here's a problem that's asking us to do an investment center analysis and calculate the return on investment and residual income. So I've already gone ahead and copied everything into a chart here just to make it easy. So the company requests a 12% return on their investment. The divisions are listed here, A, B, and C. Here's the formulas that I'm going to use to help solve this problem. So let's go ahead. The yellow is what we need to fill in. Those are the blanks. So margin, if I come over here, margin is equal to operating income divided by sales. So I can just put in operating income divided by sales, which is our revenue, and that will give me 0.2. Then for turnover, it says sales divided by operating assets. So again, revenue equals sales divided by our operating assets. So far, so good. Then um, ROI, there's a couple different ways that we can calculate ROI, you can see here. Probably the easiest I'm going to guess will be our operating income divided by operating assets because I have both of those right here, operating income divided by operating assets will give me 0.24 return on investment, which is really good. And then residual income, well residual income we may need to do a little bit more work on. Take our operating income minus our ROI Oops. and then that should give us our residual income. Now the ROI here is going to be equal to our operating assets times that return on investment, that 12%. So maybe a little bit different than, um, I want a dollar amount here as opposed to a, a figure. So let's go ahead and we'll back that up. Okay, so let's keep going. So the residual income is our operating income. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And then our operating assets times the 0.12. And then we'll just subtract those. And actually, now that I have this formula in place, I can just copy it across for the other three divisions here. There's nothing in there yet to, to enter, but as soon as we do a little bit more work, it'll go ahead and populate itself. Okay, and then that number will be this. Oops. We do already, though, know this our, our residual income for Division C. So I'll go ahead and plug that in. That'll come in handy here in a minute. Okay, so we've got Division A. Let's go ahead and do Division B. Sometimes it's easier not to start at the top and to start at the bottom. Let's see, ROI is margin times turnover, and we do actually have both of those numbers. So let's go ahead and we'll calculate that. Margin times turnover is 0.12. And then from there we can calculate our revenues because we know our average operating assets and we know turnover. So average operating assets times our turnover, which is just one, happens to be 600,000. And then our operating income is our operating assets times our ROI there, 0.12. So we'll take those operating assets times the ROI 72,000 perfect operating income we know and operating assets thought I carried that across I must have just done the bottom okay something looks goofy there let's go ahead and recalculate it actually it's correct so there is no residual income for Division B. Then let's hop over to Division C here. We already know our residual income. Operating assets we don't yet know, but we do know our operating income here is 80,000. So that will tell us that 80 minus what gives us 20. The answer here is going to be 60,000. Okay, now we can go ahead and work a little higher up here. 
I'm thinking we can do our, what can we do here next? Okay, it looks like we can do our operating assets next because we know this ROI is our operating assets times 12%. Well, we know that total is 60,000. So if we go ahead and take that 60,000 and we divide it by 0.12, that'll give us our total operating assets of 500,000. Our revenues are our operating assets times our turnover over here, so we can take those operating assets and multiply them by 2, which is our turnover ratio. Our margin then is operating income divided by our sales or our revenues. So we'll go ahead and take that 80,000 divided by our revenues. Gives us 0 0.08 for our margin. And then finally, return on investment. We can do margin times turnover right here. And it gives us 0.16. So actually, just looking at the numbers and do a quick analysis, the return on investment is obviously best for Division A. It's the highest. Followed by C and then B. Even though the margin is actually the same for A, and B, what's happening, Division A is turning over their sales more often with that higher turnover ratio. So they're more productive with the assets that they have available in generating sales, which is why they're doing so much better. Division um, B doesn't have any residual income, which is not positive. And then Division C does have $20,000, so they're doing fairly well there. Their sales are the highest, though, as well. So. Hope that helps. Thank you.